All right, we're going to take a little trip around Daytona International Speedway. I've done this before, but guess what? I'm doing it again. Now this is on the east end of the speedway right here. This will be turn one and two. Boy, this uh, track has changed the years that I've lived here. It's been 21 years, and it's really made a huge change over the years. Okay, we're going to take you a little trip around the Daytona Speedway today, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, we've done this before, and we're going to do it again, so follow along. old tunnel at this end now the old tunnel you couldn't get the haulers or nothing through it because it was wasn't that big but the uh, the new one you can take the haulers through it and everything it's huge motor homes this is the stands this is the back of the stands here yeah It says, thank you for visiting Daytona Beach. And over on that side is NASCAR. That's the headquarters for NASCAR. And they've got the new uh, plaza over there, movie theaters and stuff. Daytona 1. Daytona 1. Or one and Daytona. if you look, it's right straight across the street from the, the racetrack. corner here and make a, uh, a left and just try to do a circle around the track. And end up back here because this is be the area that we're coming to get my exchange phone at Verizon and we're just waiting till 11 o'clock so we've got about 20 minutes. So this is the uh, west end of the speedway. Make sure you get better on this side here, man. Turn one drive. Turn one drive. So here's where we're going. You can see the Verizon store. Okay. That's where we're going to end up. This, uh, they do what they call a curbside pickup. A no touch. I don't. You can't be no touch on anything. If a person hands me a device, they've touched it. Now maybe they have gloves on. I don't know. I doubt it. Throughout this whole thing, I've seen uh, some deliveries we've had that should have had gloves and they didn't. <laughs> There's a Cracker Barrel. I swear by Boondocks when you're in Daytona. They Boondock at the Cracker Barrel. So somebody did. They, they didn't feel safe there. Yeah, someone said they didn't feel safe there. Because there was somebody else in their car. You know, this area doesn't ever put me in mind of a place that's not safe, you know. This area's changed quite a bit over the years. We've got a Home Depot up here. So there's actually, at this end of the speedway, they camp. This whole end, end of the outside of the speedway is all set up for camping. So, very expensive. But all this field right in here, I'm not sure what kind of hookups they have. But this is where you can camp if you're going to spend it. And then this is where you turn into the tunnel at this end, gate 40. And you can go up here and go back into the tunnel and go in under the track and end up inside the infield. So... And then on the, uh, this other end is the uh, Daytona International Airport. 
if you watch the race here, when uh, Trump came in, he flew in right here at the airport. They did a flyby, remember? Yeah, they did a flyby, came across Dropped the speedway, low, dipped, their wings. dipped their wings and did a flyby. And this is actually the runway you're looking at here. Look out the front where all this machinery is. This is the uh, runway for Daytona International Airport. It's like they're doing some work on the runway. Mm -hmm. There it is. That's the runway. That's where all the NASCAR drivers fly in at. The tower. That's the tower. Going in and out of there a couple times. So then if you pan around, over here you can see the grandstands. You're on the back side of the track. They tore down the stand there. Yeah, this, there used to be a stand on this side. They tore that down. But this is a maintenance area. I used to do a lot of work in this area with uh, different people. We did a lot of canvas work that for the speedway. And But this was the maintenance area. Used to be in and out of here all the time. They were doing jobs. They mow that bank. They have a little, like, robot lawnmower yeah. that goes up and down and mows like that high bank. Robot, robot. That's three three stories tall to the top of it. So that's how high those are banked. Now, this is a back straightaway. I said there used to be a grandstand back here, and the super stretch. And of course, now they've tore that all out. And uh, you can see there used to be a big parking area back here. And, but this was the grandstands for the back straightaway, which is all gone now. Now they've made, they call it a stadium. I don't know why they call it a stadium. It's not a freaking ball game. It's a race. But they like to make everything in racing anymore to seem like a ball game. But I don't know why they want to do that. And of course, if you follow NASCAR, NASCAR's dying. It's on the downturn. Uh, I used to watch every race. Right now, you can't hardly get them on regular TV. You gotta have special cable channels to watch them. And uh, so NASCAR is on the downturn. Uh, I don't know if it'll survive or not, but uh, it's not in a good period right now as NASCAR, so. Good shots of the speedway right there. Yeah, they do. Uh, this is where they do a lot of their maintenance stuff and they store stuff and uh, that there almost looks like a ramp here. I'm not sure what they use this for. Up it's on. tours. Oh, that's where they put the tour buses there when they do the tours around the speedway. Oh, okay. So you actually have went, you're on the other end of it. So the track is two and a half miles around the track. And so now you're at turn uh, three and four. Looks like they freshly mowed that too, that hill. It does, yeah. Yeah, this is turn three and four. I know exactly, they claim that's three stories high. I don't think it looks quite it's three stories. Three but they, they claimed it was three stories high. Maybe, the Maybe if inside the track, it goes down in deeper inside, it would be three stories from there. But at this end, we're on the outside. And by the way, there's another campground right over there. You can oh. see all the electric poles in that. So you can rent camping there. But yeah, here's coming out of turn four. Just across here is the Hilton. Uh, you can, uh, they say you, in the top floor, you can actually see the track. If you get a room on the top floor, you can actually see the track from this uh, Hilton. On Richard Petty Boulevard. Richard Petty Boulevard. And back there is Embry-Riddle too. Right? And Embry-Riddle, it's an aviation college. And the uh, Volusia Mall, right straight across the street. So anyways, that's all the way around the speedway. Uh, we come up here, this is International Speedway Boulevard that we'll be coming up upon. And again, there's the mall. This is Volusia Mall. Don't look very busy. I don't know what the status of 
things being opening. Uh, my opinion, it should still be closed. This is Volusia County. Yeah, Volusia County. The uh, our crazy governor did open up almost everything. Everything phase three. Yeah, phase three. He's an idiot, just for my opinion. Uh, should never have opened up everything because it's not that point yet. Uh, he's been bad through this whole thing, and he continues to get worse. Oh, I thought he was good when we when he first came in, but one of the worst governors we've ever had. Just my opinion. Yeah, we're going to turn left up here. This will probably be a long traffic light. Um, then we're going to go up here and get to the Verizon store and see if they can give us my phone that went bad in a short time. I, I do a lot of videoing on my phone. I've got the Google Pixel 4, which takes excellent pictures, but what happened to it, the uh, case started separating. I believe the battery began to swell, yeah. and uh, they uh, so they did said they'd replace it. It's been less than a year, you know, but what a hassle it was just to get service. It's only been nine months. Yeah, it's only been nine months. And uh, these phones are expensive. These are like $1,000 phones, mm -hmm. which really, they're not worth $1,000. It's just, uh, come on, get real. There's no phone worth $1,000. Uh, we got a, a better deal, though. We bought two of them for the same price. Uh, so it comes out to be just about a, a $500 phone. So here we are. We're all the way back around. We're back out here on International Speedway Boulevard pretty much where we started from so our next stop is the Verizon store I hope you guys enjoyed our little trip around the speedway uh, hey, if you did give us thumbs up if you uh, uh, subscribe or hit the subscribe button we do all kinds of different videos anything we can come up with that's why we call it production we produce all kinds of videos so see you guys next time thanks for watching All right, if you want to see how to get some of our other links, when you go to our main YouTube page, up here in the picture area right here, you'll see it says like Facebook. You can click on that. That'll take you right over to our Facebook group. And you're welcome. You can join the Facebook group, uh, add your videos, add uh, whatever you meant, do some discussion there, but you can go there. If you would like to uh, support us on the Amazon, again up in this picture you'll see a uh, link that says Amazon. Click on that link right there. Go ahead and sign in. Make all your purchases. And uh, what will happen here, you'll give us a tip. It uh, We get a small percentage back. Cost you absolutely nothing. Uh, but it does help us out and we appreciate that. But I'd just show you a few little links here if you want to uh, uh, go to some of the other features we have here at Lucky Dog Productions.